You will have to speak up, please. What's your name? You got to speak up, right? You're saying Razika Khan? So you say in angels always obey Allah. They never disobey Allah. Okay, yes. And there we can see them, right? And they are neither males nor females, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So we learned here the angels we cannot see. They are neither males nor female. Also, they obey at Allah, Allah at all times. One word they know for certain is obey. They don't know anything about disobey. They don't know anything about disobey. Now, we learn from Islamic history that there was a, a very pious woman by the name of Sumaya. And she was the first woman to be martyred in Islam. I need you to tell me who, who was the person responsible of killing her. You got to give me the name of the person who killed Sumaya, the first woman to be martyred for the cause of Islam. Because she says she believed in the one unseen Allah, one un in fact unseen God. And because she made that statement, they kill her. Or he kill her. Who is that person? Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Pharaoh. No, not Pharaoh. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa Bilal. Bilal, no. First proud sponsor to the highest program. Tamina Mori. Salaam alaikum to you for being our sponsor. Part of our program sponsor on tonight's card. Coming all the way to Amina Moray, all the way from Florida. Salaam alaikum and welcome to our weekly quiz program. Could you just please repeat the question? Who killed Sumaya? Who killed her? Who killed her? Yeah. Um, when did Soji kill her? No. What you saying? Sorry, but that is not correct. So we know that this woman he was the first to be martyred in Islam, first female, and her name is Sumaya. But we want to know who was responsible oh, of killing her. Walaikum salam. Yahya. Yahya, no. Not Yahya. Azimalian family, like Pad B. For your PVC fittings, confectionery and haberdashery, telephone 339-3429 or you do your business through the phone 3429 or visit at line part B. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Shaitan? Shaitan? No. This woman Sumaya and she is so important. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Where the Islamic history is concerned here. Mm, no. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Pharaoh, no. This woman was living in the time of Prophet Muhammad and she was the first to be killed for the cause of Islam in the struggle. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Washi. No, Washi killed the Prophet's uncle Hamza. But I think they're circling close to the answer. Remember you need your eyes. The only eyes factory in Curvetan. That's Curvetan Ice Factory, telephone. In fact, situated at block 6 in line path. Remember you can call 339-3135 or 339-3134. Or you go and visit us. Very close in Karibatan, lying path for all your eyes. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Abu Talib, no. This woman is Sumaya. She was the first to be killed. And it's a male killer. her. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Abu Lulu? Abu Lulu, no, he is the one responsible of killing Hazrat Umar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. 
Musa no, Musa no. This, remember this story occurred in the time of Prophet Muhammad. Musa wasn't there. Um, other prophets. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Abu Bakr, no, no. I don't want to give it away to you because you're just going around. And I think someone will have it. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. The person that is responsible of killing Abu Hazrat Sumayya. She is a woman. A very great woman. A very noble woman. She died in a very noble cause. And we want to know who killed her. And she was the first female to martyr for uh, this deed. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Abu Jahal. Abu Jahal. Say Abu Jahal or Abu Jahal. And your name? Amina. And how far are you calling from Amina? Prince Tom. Prince Tom. Yes, Abu Jahal is the one responsible of killing the first female, martyr the first female in Islam. Thank you very much. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes, I repeat that answer. The person responsible of killing Hazrat Sumaya, the first woman to die for this deen, is Abu Jahal, a bitter enemy of Islam. Bitter enemy of Islam. Uh, you need to fill in this blank. Israfil is to the day of judgment. You know, he is the one who will be responsible for blowing the trumpet on the day of judgment. As Israel is to something. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to death. Death, yes. Israel is responsible for blowing the trumpet on the day of judgment, right? And Israel is in charge of taking everyone's soul with the permission of Allah. And we call him Malik al Mautu, right? What's your name? Thank you very much, Shafid. Salaam alaikum wa How are you doing? All right. Okay. The voice looks so strange. Yeah. I got the flu. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. I hope it leaves you very quickly. Yeah. Or you leave it very quickly. Yeah, inshallah. Salaam inshallah. Yes. Isra Israel is in charge of doing the trumpet on the day of judgment. And Israel is in charge of taking everyone's life by the permission of Allah. Salaam alaikum. Now, we know Prophet Muhammad live in uh, Saudi Arabia. We're making it very easy for you. Where did Prophet Muhammad live all his life? The country that he belonged to was Saudi Arabia, right? But you got to tell me, where did he live all his life? And I don't want Saudi Arabia. He born there and so the places that he would have lived. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam, Medina. Medina, no. He's a, he, he is a born Saudi, but in Arabia he was born. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. But we don't want that as in a holistic form. We want the parts that he lives. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello? Yes? Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. In Mecca? No. Where did Prophet Muhammad live all his life? Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. All his life was divided between Mecca and Medina. Yes. He lived both in Mecca and Medina. And for our viewers' information, he lived 53 years in Mecca. And how much he would have lived in Medina? 21. How much years did the Prophet live for? So if he, you take out 53 upon 63, how much would you have in? 10. 10. Yes, 10 years he lived in Medina. That's the last 10 years of his life. And the first 53 years of his life he lived in Mecca. And your name? Ayarika. Ayarika. Very uncommon name. Thank you. alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes. So the Prophet spent his entire life between, in fact, dealing with the Makans and the Medinans and he preached in Islam and we know his message was a video